Hey guys, it's Guinea Girl. So I'm going to show you some custom harnesses that I have. And I will make custom ones for people. I have a break in school coming up soon. So I have a lot of time and I'm going to be able to make it. Um, so in I think it's two weeks, I'm going to have like my midwinter break or something. And so I'm going to have all this time and I can make harnesses, halters, bridles, whatever. Um, I've added a lot of new stuff to my website, so make sure you check that out. Um, I'll leave a link in the district in the description. Uh, so two harnesses. So this is an example of a harness that I've made. Um, it was made two years ago, I think. Yeah. So this is just an example, and yeah, she lost her tail, poor little horsey. But uh, it was an accident, including my brother in a table. So we'll leave it at that. But this is like my full harness. So it has everything, stuff on the hindquarters. You know, it's got all the straps and all the buckles are real and they work. Um, it's not fitted on a roll because I don't have a cart to hold stuff in place. But it has the traces and everything. Um, this one has padding. I will make padding for them. This one is green. I also have white and the light purple. I have a ton of different colors in felt so you can get them in that color too. Um, the felt comes in like a rainbow of colors, pretty much anything you would want, like base colors. Uh, let's see, so the reins go through here. Uh, this one doesn't have the check piece, or the check rein, sorry, check rein. So, I might be able to add one if you really want one. Uh, this is the bridle here. This one has crystals and metal studs on it. And no, I can't get it on her head right now because the harness is going to fall off. So we're just not going to worry about that. But um, you can see the throat lash and all the pieces on it. There's the cheek piece. Um, I make different snaffles now. It has like, it actually looks like a bit instead of just a ring. So um, you can see pictures of the new bridal bits that I make on my website. I can make some different bits, like I'm now able to make half cheek bits, I think that's what it's called. But um, other like simple bits like that, I can make them. Um, so this one I told you had padding on it. This is the rest of the pieces. Um, I can't remember exactly where it goes, but when I make you one, don't worry, I'll show you. I'll make it like a little diagram showing where the pieces go and how where to buckle it and everything if you want. So if you want one, you're like, okay, I cannot figure this out, then just like email me or something, and I'll send you some um, pictures of where it goes. So like I said before, this is an older one, so you can tell the leather is a little bit different than my newer ones. Um, I got this leather from Rio Rondo, so it's a little bit dull in color. I like them for like halters and stuff, but um, it generally doesn't look all the great on harnesses because a lot of harnesses are made of patent leather, and so that's why I like tandy leather factory leather for these um so i'll show you this one this is a newer one it's a pony show harness this is like a cheaper one because it doesn't have all the stuff on the back um this one here is actually a deluxe harness and so as you can see it has it's thin so the straps are thinner and it has stitch marks all over it let's see can you see that yeah there's stitch marks all over the entire thing it's really nice so far. The actual like harness itself is done, but I don't have the bridle done for him. This is supposed to be my big summer project, but it obviously hasn't been finished this summer, so oh well. So I'll leave prices in the description for all this stuff because I can't remember them off the top of my head. But um, I showed you a little bit of this harness in my um, sales and updates video. So far, all that stuff is still for sale. So. Um, don't forget about my New Year's sale, and I know it's like, mm, February already, but we'll just say it's the Chinese New Year's sale, yay! It's the year of the horse! So this, um, harness has a, uh, false martingale. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I'm terrible at saying horse stuff. But yeah, so that's where the reins go through. And this, the, um... It does work on this horse because this horse, it doesn't have a tail that's attached to the body, so the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but anyways, it can go under the tail, and I actually rolled it on this one, so the leather's rolled right there. 
um, this pony showing harness, it's a deluxe one. So not only does it have stitch marks and thinned leather, it also has way more keepers. Because this one has far less. As you can see, there's almost no keepers on this thing, but I should have added them. Um, I also make bells for them. Those are extra. And they buckle. This one's like really loose right now, so I'll tighten it later. But um, the bells are silver. As you can see. They're glued down. And that one isn't glued to well. I'll fix it later. But, um, I don't have a lot of this thinner leather left. So most of it will have to be split because I don't see myself getting an order of thin black leather anytime soon. So uh, I'll split leather for it, but it'll make it a little bit more expensive. But, um, it's still fine. Um, yeah, so crystals and the studs that I showed you here are more expensive. Prices in description. Um, yeah, I find that classic horses and the traditional scale ponies are about the same size, so if you want them for a classic scale pony, it'll also fit your, um, or a classic scale horse, it'll also fit your traditional ponies. So, um, I think harnesses are like, uh, $40. I think it's 40 Don't quote me on that, but the description will be right, I'm just trying to give you details. Um, so rate, subscribe, and you know, tell me what you think. Uh, I'll leave my email in the description too, so you can, um, email me with questions if you don't have a YouTube account. But if you do, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. I'm thinking about doing a prize when I get, like, 50 subscribers or something. But, um, the problem is that most of my people, they don't, like, I can't see my subscribers, so if you, if I know you're there and I can see that you're a subscriber, then I will, you have a chance of winning a prize. But I'm only at 25 right now, so it might be a while. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Bye!